Hey everybody, very exciting today. It's July 3rd, which means Money Machine is available today. Um, and we've been extremely fortunate to get a lot of press from this movie. Like for example, um, you can see here, we got a New York Post, did a big write up on the film yesterday. Um, and you can see that, you know, we've also been fortunate enough to get outstanding reviews from respected publications like Film Threat, you know, who gave the movie a 10 out of 10, which they rarely do. Um, and so, you know, see 10 out of 10. So, and then, you know, we've also gotten um, good reviews from Forbes um, and many other publications as well. Um, so, you know, I'm very excited and just thankful for all the people that have helped. You know, it took years to bring Money Machine to the screen, and I just want to thank everybody who helped me along the way. Um, you don't ever make a movie alone. There are these massive lumbering beasts that require a lot of help along the way. And I want to thank everybody for um, helping make this film, which is now available today through Theatrical at Home. And I want to take a second and explain how Theatrical at Home works. It's a program that I decided to participate in um, because of co COVID is actually shutting down um, almost all, most of the independent movie theaters in the U.S. And um, so what this program does is it, you know, we, a portion of the ticket sales goes to help support some of these theaters that have been shut down by COVID. Um, and so it doesn't matter which of the theaters you suggest, you'll still be able to stream Money Machine anywhere in America. So even if you select the theater, the independent theater in Atlanta, for example, you'll still be able, it just means that the, that portion of your, well, of your money will go to help support that theater, and you'll be able to stream the movie in Vegas or New Mexico or wherever you are. So I just want to take a second and um, say thank you to everybody and let you know that Money Machine is here. So you can order it today, theatrical at home, and, uh, you know, Thank you to everybody who helped us get the truth out there about how MGM and the LVMPD lied about the mass shooting. And uh, the truth is coming out in a big way in you know, places like uh, the freaking New York Post. So we're, uh, we're, we're getting the truth out there, and I want to thank everybody who, who helped this happen. mass shooting in the history of the United States. This is a crazed lunatic. My brother just killed 58 people. My dad was on the 10 most wanted FBI list. We're not normal people. Ah! <laughs> Steve gambled $1.6 million at the Mandalay in the week before he did this. He was really, really angry with the gaming industry. There's been accusations that there's multiple shooters. That has been proven to be false. And you had politicians grandstanding on this Vegas Strong movement to get elected. Vegas Strong. I'm turning tragedy into opportunity. It was an election year, and it was camera time for Lombardo and his friends. I want to thank Sheriff Lombardo for your leadership. I'm getting based on me. Almost every press conference, you saw one figure, and that was Steve Sislak, using this as a springboard for his political campaign. We use the tragedy to get elected. While the hashtag Vegas Strong campaign raised over $10 million, less than $20,000 were distributed to the victims in the first five months. We want those records released. If they came out and said what really happened, I think they're afraid of a period of time where people say it's not safe to go to Vegas. Nothing happens in Las Vegas without the ring of a cash register. MGM Resorts is suing the victims. They are being sued for getting shot. Shameful, disgusting, outrageous. The newly released video shows Las Vegas police waiting in the hallway as Stephen Paddock continues to murder people. Oh my God. Lives could have been saved if they would have taken action. They were fibbing the whole time about being such big heroes they are hiding in the hallway. I asked them, are you stupid or are you incompetent? Please stop asking your question. You hear officers directly saying, turn your cameras off. I'm telling you right now there's more than one shooter. Could be as many as three. We saw multiple muzzle flashes coming out that window. There is no conspiracy. Can't 